Hi there people from around the world. This is David Pastran. I'm your technician, automotive technician from Nicaragua. And today on this video, I will show you how to perform a test on an oxygen sensor. This is an oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one, which means it is the one that comes first right at the south. And, and then it goes the converter, catalytic converter, and then the second one, which is the bank one sensor two, oxygen sensor. And also we will see how it is working on the scanner, how to perform a, a live data readings on the oxygen sensor, bank one, bank one sensor one. First, we need to enter with the scanner. It is, it is a Hyundai i20, it is a 2011, and um, as far as I know, it is a 1.4 multi-point injection, which means the injectors comes at the top of the intake manifold. Okay, we enter, we're entering the system, control unit, engine, this is an old leaded EOVD, and right here we are at the powertrain control module, we can red codes, erase codes, and go through live data on this scanner MaxiCheck MX808. We will read codes, there's no codes on the memory. Okay, and right now we will see the PID, which is the technical names of each of these data. It names is PID, Parameter Identifi Identification. Okay, we, and we're looking for the oxygen sensor. This is AF closed loop control active, which is for the air and, and fuel ratio. The oxygen sensor heater, if this is working or not, we'll, we'll see this uh, oxygen sensor operation, bank one, sensor one. It means that the sensor is working and it goes from off to on. Due to the vehicle is, is uh, off right now, there's no activity on the heater. And we see the oxygen sensor here. Okay, oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one. It goes through a, a point 44 volts, millivolts, 440 millivolts. That's the uh, reference voltage that comes from the ECU. And right now we got here the CA. 15 which is a um, lab scope scope meter from Autoland I, I, I really love it because it is easy to use and right for the work okay right now we will identify the lines the wiring that comes to the sensor here's the pigtail First, we are going to place a ground reference on the engine and with the positive, we're looking for the widen and what kind of voltage we see on the pigtail. First, we identify here, this is looking for voltage first as a multimeter, DC voltage. Okay, here is 12 volts, that's the voltage reference from the, the ECU, ignition voltage, one of the pins, let's see the other one, see this one, okay, there is the point 44 volts, that's the signal of the oxygen sensor, every time you see that 
voltage it means it is a zirconia kind sensor oxygen sensor so it, it will be uh, of, of 400 millivolts the, the reference voltage let's see the other one there's there's no voltage here it is because this is ground reference it's ground reference see the other one and here is what we call the uh, uh, heater heater circuit this is the heater because of this kind of sensor it needs to uh, get warm once you get the ignition on to do the job so they place a resistor that comes with the heater circuit and when whatever you see this voltage it means that is the heater okay we will connect the sensor again Leave it, leave it on the oxygen sensor reference. And here we are with the reference 0 0.44, 0 0.43. That's what we see here on the, on the multimeter. And we will turn on the engine and see how it's working. That's the oxygen sensor is starting to work. Doing the switching, it goes from uh, rich to lean condition. We can see it here as a voltage variation, but here we see it as a graphic. That means the oxygen sensor is working just fine. That is what it's supposed to do. Switching from lean condition to rich. Always going through lambda windows that goes to be uh, a 0.45 millivolts. That will be lambda with a stoichiometric uh, mixture, air fuel mixture. 14.7 parts of oxygen to one part of uh, gasoline and this way hydrocarbons okay that's the that's the that's the way you need to understand the switching of the oxygen sensor working good no problem about it and here with a multimeter you can see working also this is a Hyundai and the oxygen sensor is working just fine it's in pretty good shape the graphic is perfect. Now we will uh, disconnect and see what happens. Disconnect the, the oxygen sensor first. Okay. There we already disconnected the sensor and the voltage remains as the reference voltage that comes from the, uh, the ECU the engine rapidly starting to failure unstable hesitating engine and here we've got not activity from the sensor Connected again. Okay. There's the switching again. So that is the importance of the oxygen sensor 
because if we don't have a good signal from the oxygen sensor there will be no uh, short-term fuel trim adjustment or long-term fuel trim adjustment thank you people for attending this video we are from Nicaragua we are giving you uh, a little bit of what we know about these systems I hope it can help you see you next time guys God bless you